It is July unto on, unto unto un, and this is part two of my driving video of going to Golden Corral in Maple Grove, as this is a very smoky day. This is a day that happens to be one of my routines that are associated with Asperger's, in which I print up my weather sheets, and then I go to the bank and, and uh, the library and an all-you-can-eat buffet for a well-deserved feast in the post office you know, often, and I return a Netflix movie. Speaking of Netflix, they're going to fucking force their employees to take the fucking COVID vaccine. Maybe I will get the vaccine, I don't know. At least there's a couple of people I know who have been injured from the vaccine. I mean, where it's temporary, where they have like flu-like symptoms, and they're fucked up for a few hours. But it was pretty bad, and one person I know passed out from the vaccine. First round, then they had that going on, it wasn't as bad, so. I don't know if they can at least have freedoms, and if it doesn't, if there is risk with it. Risk I'm not willing to take yet, unfucking fortunately. I know it seems like the whole fucking thing's made up, but, or not made up, but bioweapon. COVID is probably just a variant of a, of a flu, flu virus, or, or uh, a different part of it. It's probably all it is. <laughs> so, this will be the first time I've gone through this routine. Library is only open at 8. It means I got to be sitting around even fucking longer. Maybe we can go to Barnes and Noble. I well, can probably just be outside. At least that's how nice about going now, as opposed to the winter. Now, next month in August, my information day falls on an Saturday, and I never go to the library and a buffet on information day when it falls on an Saturday. So in September, I think it'll fall on a Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday.
see it now. Lucky, even though it was a hot summer, lucky you missed the worst of it. It's got, I mean, in see, I think it was Portland, Oregon, it went up to 110 degrees for a couple of days. It was unfucking bearable. I mean, part of one place in Canada, I think, went up to 180 degrees. Actually, not the not heat index, actually. I'm sure. 100 uneven fucking degrees. Seattle, like half the people don't have air conditioning. Well, yeah, I'm sure they're very happy it didn't last all that long. It was a couple of days of hell. Hope it doesn't come that extreme out here. Right? What was causing that heat did move out here, but it modified at least the severity of it. And my fucking electricity was going out. The fucking circuit breaker kept crapping out. Now, I don't know what the fuck happened, um, because I found out the culprit yesterday. Finally. Because the first time, it, it, it wasn't happening very often. It happened once during the summer of Ruah was in a not tin. And from what I remember, it didn't happen even on time during the summer of Ruah was in a At least I don't think it did. And then the summer of Una Una, it happened twice on one of the hottest days of the year. And then it didn't do it the rest of the summer. And then this summer it started, I believe, on June Evan, I think. Or maybe it was the week after. Or June Erton. One of those. I think it was June Erton. The fucking power just... It just happened like twice that fucking day. And... I got a new modem for the internet. I And it was on the same... Um, shit. It was on the same... Um, a circuit, which I knew all along. Um, the only time anyone came in there to look at it was uh, whenever it happened while I was not attending, when they told me it was a circuit, so I would just took, t you know, turn the circuit off and turn it back on, it would work. And that's what I did in uh, the time it happened in Una Una last, last summer. And then I did it the one time this summer, the, when it happened twice in on June 8th, and then it happened eight times on the north of fucking north of July to call emergency um, or after hours uh, maintenance, and they just told me that all he could do is just turn the thing back. So then it started again yesterday when it was extremely hot and muggy, and I lucked out. It was going to originally go up to on to degrees, but what happened is rain yesterday, but the horrible high dew point, it sort of it only went up to on to on. Oh, only on to on. Well, that still fucking sucks. Oh, God. I gotta worry about the air conditioner and sometimes it seems to blow less. As he said blow. The longer I drive, that gives me something to fucking worry about. I know I'm gonna need overnight, most likely. Still to get a fucking arrow. fucking waiting. Plus, I still got to run to the post office in the bunk. So I got all that shit to do. And then the library closes an hour earlier than they used to. In fact, in fact they close at 5 o'clock most days. So this is really, it, Thursday is the only day that I can go to Golden Corral. And I don't think it's going to improve now thanks to that fucking Delta variant shit. That's that backs off.
least I'm getting hungry. But I didn't, oh God, I didn't finish telling the story about the power. It's, the guy that came in yesterday, <laughs> um, it was plugged into an Ifton amp, um, the air conditioner, and it, it wasn't plugged in the right, um, circuit breaker for the air conditioner. It was an Ifton amp circuit breaker, which also used power for the bedroom and the, <laughs> and the computer and, and everything else, where there's, where there's, like, an outlet just for the air conditioner. Traffic here is fucking horrible. What the fuck? I think this is going crawlers. But it turns out it was on the wrong fucking circuit breaker, so no wonder why this fucking power was going out. It sucks, but that's why it was going out. I make this light. So I had to change uh, the circuit breaker, and it has worked. And the fucking uh, circuit breaker was also running hot. I touched it. It was almost to the point it would burn my fucking finger. It wasn't quite that bad, but it was really close. But, but since I got on the other circuit, I checked it, and it, you know, when the air was running, it was, wasn't hot anymore. It was on the other circuit breaker. I think I think it was the damn and what the culprit, what, why it started up in June, is because uh, uh, Comcast gave me a new modem, and I think, and my old modem doesn't use that much electricity, but it might be using more of the old modem, and it was enough to put the voltage surge over the top and when the work so uh, when the voltage surge over went over the top uh, there's too much voltage going through a 10 amp uh, circuit breaker which caused the fucking thing to crap out on me all the time but what I can't fucking believe there were other people there and they couldn't find out what the fucking problem is now that's unfucking believable the, the guy who came in last Friday didn't know what the fucking problem was. I mean, he, he thought I just didn't turn the thing hard enough. He said hard. But then it started, but he, I haven't touched it since he had turned it, and then that shit started up yesterday when it was real fucking hot out. Hopefully the problem's over. It's a pain in the ass because uh, the, the TV's plugged in. I gotta use an extension cord and everything. Oh, yes, I'm leaving Golden Crow for the bank. <laughs> I'm so glad I have Asperger's because I make the most interesting driving videos in the world. Nobody makes more interesting driving videos than I can. I gotta get the bank out of the way, the bunk out of the way before I go for my well-deserved feast. I mean, I go to do this routine for quite a while. At least September, if even then.